daughter of Bengerberg told it there had been a magic explosion in Skellig. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. You must be prospering round here, huh? Hurt their silver in them hills. Aye, it's there. Friends we show Kids heart, so foes we show Come on. Heart. Remember Ain't that. Deep in the rock? Hey, there's something in yeah. the trees. Tell me, lads, are you sailing this guy? Yeah, it's about when they're to sell for us. Said they've not got a full garrison. Last night was... Let's go! Come on now. You're mad, woman! Mad, I say! Maybe, but I've got good reason. I hold Siri dear too. You know this damn well. But the mask of Orberus is no trifle. Have you any idea what could happen if it is used? Any idea of the consequences? No! Neither do you, so stop panicking. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good! May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive, and all the Isles with us! Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his patrol, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. 
When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. I'm not about to justify what Yennefer did. Then don't. But try to understand her. She's not doing this to anger you. She's doing it for Ciri. I know there are maternal feelings at play, but this is no excuse, no justification. The mask of Urberos belongs to Skellige and should be used for the good of the Isles. If Yennefer uses it now, it shall lose its power, not to mention. What? What was that? No. Yennefer's used the mask. I saw the Foglets. I meant how'd they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive, somehow. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Gonna read my mind again? You object? You do it whenever you want anyway. No harm in it then, is there? Let's go. Already found the first spot. Find the next spot. Not bad. Well, ready? Use the mask. Watch out! What was that? Hmm. 
A magic explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the Echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. Bet Ciri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Ciri can take care of herself. on the mask. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Velen. Any chance you can figure out where Siri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. the other with powerful magic, and fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Know where? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well, but the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ceres. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz and Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Just so happens I'm willing to do anything for some people. Everyone else! Everything else be damned, is that it? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You! You I'll deal with later. So? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Hmm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet, but we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you...? I can. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword mix. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a writer of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, 
Then on Hinder's Fjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Elder blood flows in Siri's veins. It is true, she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Durham, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the cataclysm struck here on Ard Skelly. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders set the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. See you there. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. of power, it's gotta be.
pass your knowledge on. I'm no trait that must get to its spawning ground. I should do what I please, and then leave me be. Yes? What do you seek? Kind old geezer I just saw you talking to. Who was he? One of our circle. Gremist. An exceptional alchemist. But a stubborn main ass. Well, been around sorceress is my share. Long enough to know that with great enlightenment comes even greater arrogance. But sorceress is welcome apprentices, am I right? Not Gremist. So many formula in that head. So many methods of ingesting and absorbing lethal toxins. But he'd rather take them to the grave than share. Maybe he'll make an exception. Share them with me. As likely as mistletoe sprouting from right here. Want to talk to you? But I do not wish to speak. Leave. You distress me. You seem a nice enough guy. Well, I'm not. I plan never to be. I became a druid to avoid others, to not have to deal with them, not to smile when I don't wish to, to feign compassion when someone's travails matter less to me than a pair of birch cones. So I shall be straight. Get out of my sight, before something, I know not what, deprives you of yours. I want you to share your knowledge. Teach me alchemy. <laughs> you? My apprentice? <laughs> That's rich. While you're at it, why did you ask Uderic if he'll share Spikarog with you? I'm serious. <laughs> Is that so? Don't make me laugh. I've devoted my life to alchemy. Sun, literary. Spent countless days and nights with nothing but alembics, choking on fumes, scorching my skin with acids. If you think I'll simply portray to you what I learned through years of sacrifice and toil, then you're mistaken. Deeply. Can I convince you somehow? Oh, gods. You're as bothersome as a gadfly before a storm. Hmm. Though I am preparing to perform a rather tricky ritual. So I could use some help. Even yours. I require three favors. Do them for me, and I shall accept you as my apprentice. Well, well. There's a way after all. Get off your high horse and listen. First, you must bring me a pimpernel from the Muskogan Forest. Second, I need a bottle of spirit from the old distillery on Hale Hill. Finally, convince Fritjof to help me perform the rite. He's a druid like I am. You'll find him near Blandara. I believe he's there on a matter of some import. So, what will it be? This Fritjof, who is he? A Vader maker, huh? You don't know the word, do you? And I pledge to make you my apprentice. A Vedamaker is a druid who can manipulate the weather. Stop a storm, cause hail, make lightning turn your enemy to ash. I advise to address him with the utmost respect, if you value your life. Spirit, why do you need that? As you must know, potential apprentice. Alcohol is the base for all potions. Superior alcohol means a higher quality potion. This spirit has no equal. Its strength, its 
flavor. Oh. Unfortunately, the distillery atop Hale Hill has fallen into disrepair. We've lacked a source ever since. But you'll manage somehow, won't you? You're so confident. Hmm. A pimpernel. As far as I know, it's got no use in alchemy apart from... Would you teach your grandmother to suck eggs? It's not any pimpernel, but the one that grows in the Moscowden forest. And if the rumors are true... A creature jealously guards all the herbs growing there. Forest creature jealously guarding some secrets? Sounds familiar. All right, I'll do it. But this ritual you want to perform, what's that about? If ye wish to be my apprentice, you must stop asking questions. I decide what to tell you and when to do it. Now go, chop chop, before I change my mind. Still, someone picked the bloom recently. Another seeker of Pimpernel. Another? Grenist has sent countless young druids into the forest. They emerge drained, with a blank stare, and with no flower. And they never speak of what happened. I've asked Grenist to stop the folly. He looked at me and laughed. But the fun's over. One of our novices, Ramond, has failed to return. I've come to find him, alive or dead. What do you know about this forest? Not much. Funny, isn't it? A druid should know every tree, every bush. But even we know not to venture to some parts of the isle. We can subdue animals, but not monsters. And the word is, one has made its lair here. A lesion? An axibrim? Sadly, I don't know. As I said, those who have entered do not speak of who or what they saw. Listen, you're looking for a druid, I'm looking for a flower. Let's go in together. Why not? I could use the help of a tracker. Lead the way. Flower. No petals. Hoof prints. But a bipeds.
flower. No petals. Someone buried him, not skillfully, but with great care. Lots of scratches. None look lethal, though. Body's dried out as if it was drained. I knew him. It's Yara the White of Care Trolda. He died far from home. flowers here as well, but they've been picked, every last one. Footprints, some fresh, others faded, all leading in the same direction. <laughs> Two can play this game, you horny goat woman. Unhand him, hellish creature. Ramond, step away from her. Ah, calm down. I've not been harmed. I came here. You don't know what you're saying. She's cast a spell on you. We saw what happens to those who land in this beast's embrace. We saw Yara's body. Then you saw I buried his body as custom dictates. I did not seek his death. He... he was very old. His heart was weak. I warned him it could end that way, but he kept returning. I see through your lies. Your wretched charm won't work on me. I shall kill you here and now, monster! I don't see any reason to kill her. She's a monster, sure, but a sentient one, and basically harmless. No such thing. Just as there's no dry water, no cold fire. But if you'll not help, very well. I shall tend to her myself. I'd advise against it. I will return. With one who does not carry a sword for show. Why did you take my side? I'm afraid you'll be sorely disappointed. I don't generally couple with witches, especially not out of gratitude. Tell me why not. Is it the scars? 
I detest when a man smells of blood. You witches always reek of it. Fiend blood, trot blood, and these are my brethren. You're right, but unlike fiends and chorts, you... Have ample breasts and a pretty face? I know. Their lack of these attributes, is that what makes them easy to kill? It's a bit more complicated than that, but never mind. No means no, I get it. Can't think of another way you can repay me. I'm looking for Pimpernel. You know this forest. Maybe you could help me. I shall take you myself. And you, Ramund, go pick some more violets. Just the indigo ones this time. Uh, indigo? You mean blue? No. Indigo is indigo. <sighs> Men. Why you need all these flowers? Nosy, aren't you? Wait and see. Pretty, don't you think? Bellflowers, violets, king cups, pimpernels. I must pick some edelweiss. Take one, but no more. I've put a lot of work into making this cavern cozy. Faster. Fresh smile upon you. Come on, Roach.
distilling recipes. Parchment's a little faded, but legible. Stunner. That's right. And what do they call you, Witcher? Me? Drifter, stranger, mutant, sometimes even by my name, Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> a man with a sense of humor. I like that. Well, what can I do for you, Geralt of Rivia? Gremist wanted me to summon you. Need you to help him perform a ritual. A ritual? Will this one stop him from being a mean old goat? I would go see him. For old time's sake, but I have more important matters on my mind. Look about you. The ground. See how dry it is. It's not rained for weeks. The grass and pastures has withered. Sheep are starving. I must bring rain. But fear that... Wait just a moment. Perhaps you could help me. How? I'm a man of many talents, but manipulating the weather is not one of them. I have in mind a different skill involving your sword. You see, Mother Nature dislikes it when you take something from her by force. She will defend herself. So fiercely, in fact, that I could use a defender myself. What do you say? Sure, I'll help. Provided you go see Gremist afterwards. Agreed. Now follow me. 
Time for a little storm. Animal sacrifice. Should we burn folk at the stake as they do on the continent? Better a sacrifice of goats and sheep. not managed a storm that fine for ages. Did you see the drops? The size of eggs. A little busy tending to the foglets. They weren't small either. Ah yes, unfortunately they always emerge. But perhaps that's for the best. For the best? Why? If manipulating the weather carried no risks, it'd not give me peace. Make it rain, make the sun shine. Some would want storms, others a sea calm as a pond frozen over. This way folk petition me only when their need is great, not because they've had a whim. I get it. There are times I wish I didn't have to chase this necker or that drowner. Will you go see Grimace now? With pleasure. After a storm of those proportions, I should gladly have her to help him with his ritual. Till then.
clear. abandoned. Did everything you asked. Phenomenal, my boy! So, Fritjof, shall we begin? The sooner the better. We've had long night ahead of us. The ritual is only for members of the inner circle. Thus, my dear apprentice, you must wait outside. Under no circumstances must you enter. We shall begin your tutelage come morn. Will you finally tell me what the ritual's about? Nay, nay. No one likes a meddler. Suffice to say, it's a burning murder now. Shoot! Must have another. That's good stuff. Aye, as the best from Moose Gordon and spare from Hale Hell. Good times, Fritjof. <laughs> good times. Finally, something other than damn potions and transmutations. Guess the ritual's not over yet. Good. I thought I told you to sh stay outside. Only dreads of the inner circle. Sharkle Smirkle, let the boy have some fun. He's earned it. <laughs> Fine. Pour yourselves on. Good. Let the lessons begin.
Don't you think you ought to sober up first? Ah, once I'm sober, we'll get nowhere on account of my hangover. No shit. <laughs> Let's start with ingesting toxins. Best approach, practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. I've practiced a lot already. Good thing. I'll make learning my secret method easier. Look, you take the potion like this, and gulp. Who said old age is a burden? <laughs> <laughs>